Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Health is Easy. You guys voted and we are having a breakfast episode. I am gonna show you my legitimate real life breakfast. I asked you guys yesterday and it is the next day in the morning, so I had no time to shop for a fancy recipe. This is legitimately what I have for breakfast every single day. So what I'm gonna do is give you two different recipes. I might even sneak in a third recipe depending on how long the video is. The first recipe is what I have as my first meal every single day. My dog, if the camera, if you saw the camera move, my dog is in and out of the tripod. Um, anyway, so this first is a shake. My first meal of the day is a shake, which is so new and not like me because I've always been somebody to be like, I need to chew my food. I can't have a shake. It's never gonna keep me full. But I have come up with the perfect vegan superfood shake that actually keeps me full because it's high in protein, high in fiber, high in vitamins, minerals, everything. It's so good for you. So I have this after my yoga usually. I do yoga in the morning and I don't have anything to eat because doing yoga when you have food in your stomach is not very enjoyable. And then this is what I make after. And this shake, it's so fast. You just throw stuff in, blend it up. I just have a little ninja bullet that I bought at Target. So you can do this the morning of, or you could do it the night before, put it in your fridge and grab and go if you're somebody that doesn't wanna wake up five minutes early to make breakfast or you're someone who's on the go and you don't need to just have this for your first meal of the day. This would be a great afternoon snack. If you're someone, I work with a lot of clients who are nurses and they need quick and easy things that they can like drink or eat on the go. So this would be a great one. So let's just get right into it. So I just wanna show you how easy this is. So I start, I do have a scale here, which I'm gonna show you why in a second. Um, that's just how I kind of measure and weigh out my fruit because fruit, it can add up very quickly. The carbs can add up very quickly. So I just like to make sure that I have um, just a good ratio of everything. It just makes the shake perfect every single time. So I have just almond milk. I do almond, cashew, whatever kind of nut milk that is on hand. This is just vanilla almond milk from Trader Joe's. And I do a heaping cup. This is a half a cup measurement because my cup measure is in the dishwasher right now. But I do like a heaping, like I let it flow over. And you can really customize this how you like it. In the beginning when I would make this, I didn't want to drink it because I was so against drinking shakes. I didn't think it would make me full. I wanted to eat. So I would do a little bit less milk and it made a perfect like, um, almost like ice cream consistency. So if you want it thicker and you want to eat it with a spoon, almost like an acai bowl, and if you want to top it with things, you could do that. I would add a little bit less milk. The, the heaping cup of milk, I think is the perfect thick smoothie texture, but if you want it thinner, just add more milk. So that's totally up to you. And then we have a half an avocado in the shake. And in the beginning, I was like, that's gonna be weird. Do I want to do this? And this avocado, I just went to the grocery store actually this morning because I was out of avocado. And this is not quite soft enough, so I hope it blends okay because usually my avocados are a little softer. But I just do half of an avocado and I don't bother weighing it um, because I've weighed it every single day. So I know that a half an avocado is around 60 grams of an avocado. So if you want to measure it, do 60 grams, 65 grams. I usually stay between um, 60 and 65 with the half an avocado. And then I put my ninja thingy on the scale and I just zero it out. So the scale reads zero grams with the um, cup on it. And then I do frozen banana. I usually freeze my own, but I ran out, so I just bought this at Walmart, frozen banana. And I do about 80, 85 grams, whatever kind of falls in. It's not like perfect, but usually I try to do 80 to 85 grams of frozen banana. We got 87, no big deal. And then I do strawberry, just for kind of like a banana strawberry vibe. And I, this again is kind of like a rough measurement. I just kind of, um, I don't reset the, the scale. I just weigh it until it says like 130 
140. I'm kind of like lax about it. One thirty-five, perfect, good, good enough for me. So I just kind of have a little, a little range. It's not perfect. It doesn't have to be perfect. So the next, after the fruit, I'm done with the scale, and now I have some powders that I put in here. So I have, let me get everything together. So I have maca powder, red maca powder. This is great for endurance, hormone health. I do a heaping teaspoon of that. I also put maca powder in my coffee every morning. It has a little bit of a nutty flavor, but you really don't taste the nutty flavor at all in here. And then I do a heaping teaspoon of spirulina powder. I just got this from Vitamin Shop. Really, really good for you, superfood. And then something I wanted to show you, I do not add this because I have so much fiber in my diet, but One Up Nutrition, the company that I'm affiliated with, I love their products. This is a brand new product that I've been recommending to everybody. It is fiber, vitamin C, and probiotics. So this would be a perfect time to add a scoop of this to the shake first thing in the morning, take your probiotics, vitamin C, and then fiber, which is going to help keep you full. Fiber is a huge deal, um, especially if you're somebody who feels like you're snacking all the time, you're never full, you need more fiber. If you're someone who is like, I'm just always hungry, where's your fiber at? So use that supplement code XTINA for 20% off. Something that I add in here every single day, I actually just ran out of it yesterday. I used my last scoop and I didn't realize I was gonna film this, so I threw away the carton, but it is a one-up nutrition product. It is the vegan greens and reds, and I add one scoop of that in there. It's just a green um, vegetable and fruit powder that I add to this. It gives it a really great taste. I'm out, so I have to get more, but if you, I would highly, highly recommend that product in here, the vegan greens and reds, I'll tag it in the recipe. And then these are two things, I'm not affiliated with the company at all, they're a little expensive. I'll tag them, but don't feel like you need this. This is just for personally me. This is by The Beauty Chef, and it's called Glow, Inner Beauty Essential. It is naturally bio-fermented superfoods, prebiotics, and probiotics to nourish the skin on the inside so it glows on the outside. I'm really on this like skin journey right now. I don't know how my skin looks right now. I did just wash it, so it might be a little bit red, but I'm being very intentional with my skincare and your gut controls everything. Your gut is a second brain, so this is just going to help my gut health. It's gonna give me those superfoods that really hydrate and cleanse my skin from within. So I'm gonna, I just bought this today actually. So one teaspoon and I don't know how it tastes, but I asked the woman at the store um, if this would be good in, a, in a, my morning shake and she said yes. It'll be fine, so I'm just gonna add a teaspoon of that. We'll see how it tastes, I'm sure it'll be fine. And then this, I love this brand, Anima Mundi. I love this brand. I went to my little apothecary to get a couple of her products, but they were all sold out, so I've never tried this one, but this is an energizing brain tonic. So it just basically has a lot of adaptogenic herbs and mushrooms in here, lion's mane, things that are gonna make me focused and sharp for the day. So this is a perfect thing to add to my morning smoothie, my first meal of the day. And this is a half a teaspoon. Again, I just bought this today. I've never added it before. I've never had this product, but I love this brand. And if I tag this stuff and you're like, oh my God, like. This little tiny thing was $70. I think this was $35 or $55. I can't remember which one. But yes, they're expensive. But we're putting this, I'm putting this in my body. I don't mess around. I'm not going to put something cheap that doesn't work in my body that's just filled with a bunch of fillers and bullshit. So that's why I spend money on the things that I'm going to put in my body. So yes, they're expensive, but I'll let you know in about a month how I like the glow to see if it changed my skin. 
And then for protein, this is just too perfect in here. I always go for vegan protein because it digests slower, so it always keeps me full. I like the One Up Nutrition Vegan Protein better than any other protein I've ever seen in the market because of the ingredient list. It, it only has a handful of ingredients, all organic, all natural. This is the banana bread flavor. It's brand new and it is phenomenal. I make banana bread oatmeal. It's so good, I'm not kidding you. I put this in yogurt, I eat it on its own just with milk. And there's only a few ingredients. There is a organic, uh, non-GMO vegan protein complex with pea protein, sunflower seed protein, and pumpkin seed protein. So that's just their protein blend, all organic. So that's the one ingredient. And then organic coconut oil and organic stevia extract. So three ingredients. And then they say natural flavors, um, obviously to make it taste like banana bread. So we don't know what those natural flavors are, but this is the cleanest protein that you're gonna find. So I do a scoop of this to get a nice dose. I think it's like 20, 24 grams of vegan protein and it tastes like banana bread. So it goes along with the taste and the flavor profile of my little smoothie over there. And then I top it all off. If you're gonna add a sweetener, do that now. I used to add stevia but I'm trying to limit the amount of just like artificial sweetener or even just sweetener in general and just try to get it all from my food. And the One Up Nutrition vegan greens and reds really did sweeten this nicely. So I don't know how it's gonna taste today since I don't have the vegan greens and reds. So if I need to add some stevia, I'll add it after I blend it. But after all of your powders, you're just gonna top it off with spinach. You could do, I sometimes do a spinach and kale mixture. Sometimes if I just have kale, I'll just do kale. Um, it's not that serious, but I just have obviously a lot of spinach on hand. So I'm gonna use that today and then that's it. And yes, I'm talking to you. So like, obviously I'm going slowly with making my shake, but if you make this in the morning, you just throw, throw everything together, make it the night before so you have it in the morning. And I just kind of bang it to get the, the milk down below and then I blend it. And I stop, I kind of shake it up a little bit just to get anything that's stuck. There's always a little powder stuck here, but it's fine. And I blend it one more time. And then we're done. And I just drink it right out of here with my little silicone um, straw. But I always do this, because I gotta eat every bit. So I, oh, ooh, ooh. oh. Wow, okay. This definitely has some flavor, because it tastes different than normal. So, I mean, not that you're gonna probably buy this. I doubt anyone's gonna buy this, because it is expensive. But going forward, I'm probably just gonna add this to water and drink it on its own in the morning. It has a very strong like berry flavor, which is not bad. It's really not bad in here, but I wanted more of like the banana flavor. That's what I'm used to. So it is what it is, but it's still good. And if you don't have, if you don't wanna get the, the vegan protein from One Up Nutrition, you can use any protein, I love doing vanilla. Sometimes I'll do chocolate. I really love vanilla um, in this smoothie, but this is like the thickness. So you can even still eat it with a spoon. What I normally do is I will just drink it with a straw, like casually, slowly. I don't just like chug it, I drink it slowly. And then towards the end, when the straw can't pick up all the extra yummy stuff, I just drink it with, or I eat it with a spoon. So. I'm gonna finish licking this because it's not attractive and I don't want you to see me doing it. I'm gonna put my groceries away and re-up my flowers. I bought new flowers today. I'm gonna do groceries, skincare, get ready for the day, and then you're gonna see me for another breakfast recipe that we're actually gonna prep and keep in the fridge for tomorrow because I wanna give you breakfast that you can make ahead of time because something that my clients are struggling with, especially right now, that their jobs are opening back up and their kind of normal life is getting back to normal ever since the quarantine, they're struggling with getting breakfast in and getting those nutrients in. So it's going to be a recipe that you can make ahead of time, grab and go, and it's delicious. So I'll see you soon.
All right, guys, we are back for recipe two. I have a cup of water boiling right now where it's coming to a boil. It's not boiled yet. And I wanted to kind of talk you through the recipe and what I am making here um, while it's boiling so that when I'm done talking, we can just go, 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 because this cooks so fast. So this is a perfect recipe for make ahead and store in the fridge, or it's so fast because this cooks in 90 seconds. So what I am doing is my new little obsession. It's a different take on oatmeal. Instead of oats, we are using quinoa flakes. They're so good. I love it. It cooks so fast. They're higher in protein. They're six grams of protein, three grams of fiber, and they're actually less in carbs, uh, 26 grams of carbs and two grams of fat. I found it at Whole Foods. And then I also, so I do one serving, which is 40 grams. I weigh that out on my scale. And then I do a serving, which is two tablespoons of this quinoa and, I'm uh, not quinoa, I'm sorry, flax and chia blend that I get from Vitamin Shop. This just gives me more fiber. It really helps to thicken the mixture. And I love a thick oatmeal. I do not like a watery, milky oatmeal. I like it thick and I find that it keeps me more full. And it has healthy fats in here as well so i got this at vitamin shop you can get it online in the store on amazon but honestly i recommend putting this in anything that you make oats oatmeal oat bran cream of rice anything like that the consistency is just so good so what we are going to do is boil a cup of water my water is now boiling and i'm going to add my mixture of my quinoa flakes and the flax and chia blend and I'm gonna stir and I am gonna, con I this cooks so fast. I made it for the first time yesterday and it was so good and it kept me full for hours. I actually had to be like, okay, Christina, get up. Like it's time to make dinner, even though I wasn't hungry. I, I, I it was crazy. So I am just kind of just stirring it around, letting it boil. I'm gonna turn down the heat a little bit just because it cooks so fast and I don't have a timer on. I mean, you can put a timer on for 90 seconds. I'm pretty much just waiting until the water absorbs and the um, texture gets thicker. And when I first made this, I just made it yesterday and I loved it so much uh, that I was like, I really wanna bring this as a recipe for you guys. But I thought, I was like, there's no way that a cup of water that's too much water for quen the, these quinoa flakes. Cause if you buy the quinoa flakes, they are just so fine and micronized. But uh, I found out that it really does absorb very nicely. And I think it does help to have the flax and chia blend to help make it thicker. So I just kind of like, I, I'm assuming it's been around 90 seconds because it's nice and thick right now but I am going to be adding some powder in here. So I do want it to have like a liquidy consistency. So what I'm gonna do, I am obsessed and I, because that was my dog, I'm sorry. I love, I'm gonna turn this on a little bit lower. I love blueberry coconut flavored oatmeal. To me, it is so good. And I'm just gonna make this as how I like to eat it, but I'm gonna talk you through a couple different variations. So I kind of just took it off the heat for a second. And I'm just gonna add like two spoonfuls of coconut cream, which is gonna make it taste coconutty. It gives it this awesome coconut flavor. Maybe I'll even add a third. I'm gonna add three spoonfuls of it. And I'm gonna stir it all to just incorporate. I'm gonna put it back over this low heat. This is gonna make it a little bit more creamy. And then I have about a quarter of a cup of blueberries that I've just washed. Probably even less than a quarter of a cup. I didn't measure it, I just kind of eyeballed it. And I love it when the blueberries are like hot and they almost like blister and open up a little bit and it releases that, that the blueberry juice. And I don't know, it's something about the coconut with the blueberry. I just, I love it so, so much. So I'm just stirring it, heating everything up and just like pretty much incorporating it all together. And if you like to have the blueberries like almost like mashed, I love them when they're super warm. You can even add the blueberries like at like the very end of when the uh, quinoa flakes are cooking so that the blueberries really get nice and warm. And you can have this 
You can have it cold, like I'm gonna have it. I'm just gonna store it and have it tomorrow or maybe even later today as a snack slash lunch. Or you can have this warm. Yesterday I had it warm and it was so good. And instead of the blueberries, I did banana. It was phenomenal. And so now I just want to sweeten it just a little bit with stevia. This is a calorie free sweetener. I love the one from Trader Joe's this little one. It's just, it's so good. And I'm gonna add just a touch of almond milk, just to add a little bit more uh, liquid. And this is gonna be the part that is gonna change for you and how you eat it because I just am someone that really does not like um, very runny oats. I want it to be thick. And so I don't add too much liquid. So just so you guys can see, because I know you can't really see, that is what it's looking like right now. So it is, it's still thick as you can see, but it is still moist as well because to get some protein in here, I will be adding two scoops of protein. This is not a protein that I have talked about before. This is a um, it is a plant-based superfood protein. So it is chocolate flavored. So I'm using chocolate in here. You can use vanilla. Vanilla would be fantastic just because of the coconut. I think the vanilla would be good, but I love chocolate and that's just what I have here. And the reason I'm using this is just because it does have probiotics, digestive enzymes. It has all of my, it has a superfood and greens blend. So I'm getting a ton of nutrients in there. It has fiber um, and there's not much, there's 22 grams of protein. So it's not a, it's not like a protein powder that I would recommend to have like after the gym or something like that. I just think this is actually a really great protein to eat. Um, and because I don't prioritize powders for my protein sources, but I have been kind of craving more plant-based foods recently. So I have found that I'll use my One Up Nutrition vegan protein in my shake, and then I'll use this protein in my meal because I feel like it's more of a complete meal with the greens and the superfoods and that kind of thing, if that makes sense. So I'm just gonna stir this together and I'm just gonna eyeball it to see if we need any more liquid. And if, you know, once again, the point of these episodes is to bring you foods that are healthy, but like lower in calories. So if we did not care about calories here, and this was a cooking show solely based on like flavor and not calories, not calorie friendly, I would add more coconut cream and that would be the only liquid I would add, but an eighth of a cup is nine grams of fat. So that is something that can add up really quickly. And this is a single serving. And I did add the chia in the flax. So that has fat as well. Um, there's also fat in the quinoa flakes. So just so this doesn't become super high calorie, super high in fat, that's why I am adding more, more moisture with the almond milk rather than continuing to use the coconut cream. And the reason I'm using coconut cream over coconut milk is just because the cream has more of that coconutty flavor. Um, it's just like, it's not as watery, it's just real coconut. You're gonna get, get hit with that coconut. And that's why I think the, the serving size is so small with, a, with an eighth of a cup, because you really don't need a lot to have a coconut flavor. So this, this is perfect. Oh my gosh, this is like my dream consistency. It's thick. It's gooey, it's warm, and I love having the blueberries folded in it. You could do this in a Tupperware. I just have these mason jars and I never really use them other than for like making oats ahead of time or making overnight oats, but I am just not a fan of overnight oats. I don't like the consistency of oatmeal that just cooks in milk. It's not thick enough for me. Uh, it doesn't fill me up, I don't know. So my take on overnight oats is to cook it, do the work and leave it overnight in the fridge and eat it cold or heat it up in the morning. But I'm probably gonna just eat this cold because I'm not a huge fan of reheating protein powder. I don't like the, the chalkiness that it has. So I am just gonna have this cold which is fine because it's going to be delicious. It's going to be a nice little summery snack. And it is summer, even though I'm wearing jeans and a sweatshirt, but I keep my house like ice cold. So I'm just cozy. All right. 
Mm. That's so good. I love the coconut, the chocolate, and then like getting that little sweetness of the blueberries and it filled up that whole entire thing. And it's less carbs than oatmeal is. It's more protein, three grams of fiber just in the quinoa flakes. And then you're also getting five grams of fiber in the chia seed blend. So this is going to be a meal or a snack that is going to keep you so full. This can, and so let me talk about, um, and I just have my towel, I'm just gonna like cool it a little bit. But if you wanted to make this in different ways, you could make it into like a parfait where you layer, where you do not fold in the blueberries and like you layer some of the quinoa, oatmeal mixture and then you layer some blueberries and then you put some more um the, the the oatmeal quinoa mixture on top you could layer it like that um instead of adding the coconut cream while it's you know cooking after it's cooked you could add the coconut cream right now and drizzle it right you know on the top like that um that's what i was going to do but i was like you know what i really want every bite to be coconutty but next time what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just add almond milk to make it the consistency that I want. And then before I put my top on my mason jar, I'm gonna drizzle a little bit of that coconut cream on top of this and eat it that way. It's gonna be delicious. Um, you can use different fruits, you could use different flavors, eat it hot, eat it cold, whatever you want. But I just wanted to give you two really quick breakfast recipes that both of them you can make ahead of time, store in the fridge or quickly whip up. I mean, this was minutes, minutes, 90 seconds to make that. Throw some protein powder in, add a fruit. You can drizzle on some coconut butter. I have coconut butter that I love on my oatmeal. You could drizzle co melted coconut butter on top, almond butter, peanut butter, whatever your jam is, drizzle that on top of here. That would be really great. I'm not gonna add any nut butters just because we do, do have the fat from the coconut cream and from the flax and chia. So there's really no need to, for me to add any additional fat in here. So I'm gonna skip out on the nut butters um, so there's a lot you could do here. So I hope this helps. I'm going to close this up and I'm going to store it in the fridge. And let's be real, I'm probably going to eat this as a snack later today because I took a bite of, I licked the spoon and it was so good. So I know this was a really simple play on breakfast, but that's what I'm here to do for you. Make health really easy. So let me know if there's any recipes that you would like to see next and I will catch you next week for Health is Easier. Health is easy when you cook with me. Bye.